By the way, I brought bagels for the office. Oh my god, Ben, that was so nice of you. You know, you really didn't have to- Give me your pants. Excuse me? Give me your pants. That really didn't clear anything up. Stop slurping your dumbass juice and give me your pants. I don't know if we have an HR department, but if we do, this is definitely something that they- By biting into that bagel, you have agreed to the terms of service. Terms of service? It's like that little box you click when you sign into Facebook. You know, you should really read that stuff before you- Terms of service? It says clearly in the terms. By biting into that bagel, you forfeit possession of your pants. You can read the full transcript inside the bagel if you have any questions. Inside the bagel? Jesus, Ben, how did you even get that? Now if you'll just remove your pants. Within one week of bagel consumption, the bagel user must forfeit his or her kidneys. Seems reasonable. These are completely insane, Ben. It says here you get to name my firstborn child? I'm thinking Hoyt Plum. That's not even a name. It is now. It's the name of your son. Hoyt Plum Jefferson Beauregard Dick Hitler. Why would you get to change his last name? And, and why would you change it to Dick Hitler? It suits him. No, it doesn't. He's not real. Why are all of these so graphic? Graphic? They're completely normal. Give me one- It says right here, you get to piss my pants. Not yours, mine. Okay, so you found one in the whole- th Right here, it says if I ever sneeze, you get to give me a knuckle calzone. What the fuck is that? I just cover my fist in cheese. You know you're biting the bagel. Want someone to help you when you're down? Do you need a friend to turn your brown around? Do you need a team of semi-professionals to help you with your problems with electronics like computers and cell phones? If it's the, the last, last one, one, we can help you here at Technones. Please. No. Please. Nope. Please. No. no. Please. Bridget, how many fires have we had in this office? Five. And how many were started by you? None. Then as the responsible one, the job of picking up the mail falls to you. Letting us, the resident fire starters, do it, you are endangering the business. The mail room takes all day. It's like a black hole of sucking your timeness. Bridget, James and I are hard at work on this password issue and cannot be distracted. <laughs> did you guys even figure out how to fix a forgotten password? Uh, no, but Ava did. You did? I googled it. Why is your job still a thing? You sell apples. Touche. Fine, I'll go, but you guys owe me. Isn't sex enough? Okay, fine. Ben owes me. I was bluffing about Googling it. You guys have a plan, right? We do. A series of hourly antics until the problem fixes itself. That can't possibly work. Hasn't failed yet. Ben, we've been over this. Desk lamps and oil lamps are not the same thing, and genies aren't real. Let's move on. Did anyone tell him that? Tell who that? The genie. Ah, there. What the fuck? Okay. Thought there was gonna be more of a story here. I guess not. Hey there, I uh, couldn't help but notice that you threw the paper in the trash and not the, uh, the recycling. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it's just that, you know, it's paper, and, uh, paper's recycling. Right, uh, sorry, I guess. <laughs> totally, ah, I get it, I get it, it's just, uh, it's fine, I just, I didn't know. Didn't know what? Didn't know that you hated Mother Nature! Ah, uh, here's the conflict. So you're a genie, and you're here, and you came out of Ben's desk lamp, and you're a genie? What about this is confusing to you? Well, for one thing, magic isn't real. And for another, wait, I, I don't need another. Magic isn't real. Then what are you calling me? Shut up, Charlie. I call you a doorstop. Wait, wait. I'll just sit here, stopping this door, thinking about killing you, as usual. James, be nice to the genie. He's not a genie. Yes. Ah. Ow. No, you're not. So what? You think I just 
wanted in here, overhear your little conversation, and this, for no reason at all, decided to pose as a genie. Well, I didn't before, but that's really specific. So, come on guys, he's not even blue. And he has legs. We have a job to do, so unless discount Danny Zuko can prove, prove it. How exactly can I do that? Aladdin got a musical number. We're not all Robin Williams. You can say that again. You want proof? I'll give you proof, you dick! What did that do? Your hands are fish now. What is that even? <laughs> that was awesome. Proof enough? Now then, let's get back to business. Like I said, three wishes. No more, no less. Three. Change it back! Three each? Three, period. I thought we each get three. And I thought every human has an adorable animal sidekick. Turns out the rules laid on Disney films aren't universal. Change my hand back! Well, what are the rules then? Is there anything we're not allowed to wish for? No resurrections, no time travel, and no more wishing for more wishes. Seems reasonable to me. Oh, and no wishing away the Star Wars prequel, The Phantom Menace. Fuck! Maybe you should wish for a less tiny wang! Shut up, Charlie! <laughs> so, you're a genie, and you're real, and magic is real, and my hand is a fish. Sorry, this is just a lot to process right now. We should talk about this, right? Three wishes, we need to use them appropriately. Yeah, we really gotta discuss how we use these. And we gotta make sure they're loophole-proof. Because if movies have taught me anything, it's that vague wishes always end up screwing the wisher. Genies are very tricky. Ben! No, he's right. I'm gonna screw you. It's the only thing that brings me happiness in this world. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, this is technically magical slavery, so I wouldn't feel bad for you regardless. So if we wish to fly, have fun flying southwest. And if you wish for money, then take it from someone else. Someone who deserves it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna take it from someone poor. Because I'm just a dick. Speaking of dick, shut, shut up, up, Charlie! Charlie. How dare you! Jesus Christ, do you not have anything better to do with your life? I most certainly do not! How do you get around so fast? Nothing about you makes sense. Stop deflecting! Look, the recycling bin is all the way down the hall. If you wanted people to recycle, you could just move it closer. It's like 10 feet away! That's far! Oh, is 10 feet worth seagulls choking to death on plastic? Is 10 feet worth polar bears without homes? Is 10 feet worth the melting of the polar ice caps, therefore causing oceans to rise as they boil around your feet? The screams of the last red panda echoing into the distance as they're hunted to extinction, toppling the food chain and setting off an Shut irreparable change. Would you stop making me feel bad about myself? Or what? Or. Or this. <gasps> you disrespectful little. What? <laughs> About that. This is unacceptable! Okay, one wish per person. That seems fair, right? So everybody gets to say? Hell no. We have a finite number of opportunities to have whatever we want. I'm not letting Ben waste one of those on a football. But Ben wouldn't do that. Yes, yes, I would. I'm very hungry. Damn it, Ben! Uh, look, I know what he said about wishing for money, but I, I think we could talk our way around it. Excuse me? As long as we specify where the money is coming from, he has to abide by that, right? So, so if we, we say we want the money to come from some rich asshole or a corrupt politician, or, or both, we, we could be like Robin Hood. People would thank us. Uh, James, stealing is stealing, rich or poor. So are you saying Robin Hood was a criminal? He was. Fine, Th then we wish to win the lottery or, or something. Think about how easy our lives would be if we had- We just we inherited just... millions from Ford. We should be using these wishes to change the world. Right. We should wish for robots. No. Huh. Huh. Good point. Cyborgs. Cyborgs are way more trustworthy. We need to use them to 
make the world a better place. We can wish for world peace and end the conflict. Ava, I love you, but that's just stupid. If we wish for that, he'd just kill us. What? An end to conflict is impossible. Humanity as a species naturally tends towards conflict. I think his eagerness for robots is making him smarter. <laughs> it's not rocket science. It doesn't matter if it's international trade disputes or a Black Friday sale. Eventually, somebody is going to get in a fight. Somebody is going to cut somebody else off in traffic, and then bam, conflict. Therefore, the only way to end all conflict is to wipe out all life in the universe, like a Thanos who had the balls to finish the job. Now, if we're done talking, like we give a crap about the rest of the world, let's talk wishes. Jesus, this is magic we're talking about. I want to think outside the box. I want to get weird. I want an army of giant jellyfish. I want a Sunday the size of Manhattan. I want a puppy made out of a pancake. Ben, that's just stupid. And adorable. And delicious. We could wish to be famous. Ending world hunger. Political power. Racial equality. Slater power. I wish James was a dildo! Done. What? You guys were taking too long! Alright, I'll duct tape the dummy's mouth shut. You wish James back to normal. Okay. Wait. That would mean we only have one left. And? No, we really gotta waste our last wish on... Benjamin Jean Kelly. Your best friend is a dildo. Fix this. Fine. I wish James wasn't a dildo. That was weird. And why is my hand still a fish? I hope you're happy. Hey, can we talk? I, uh, I don't want to talk to you. Look, I, I wanted to apologize. I got a little carried away earlier. I appreciate that. I know that couldn't have been easy to say. I hope you learned something very important about the environment. I did. Recycling is very, very important. Did you just throw away a full sandwich? Yep. That's, that's so wasteful. Is that a fur coat? Genuine endangered panther. You, you hypocrite. Oh, no, 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 no. The rug is hippo. This is panther. Panther! I'm never recycling again. Good! No, no one should. It is the stance of this show that recycling is bad. That's our message this week, and we're sticking to it. You have one wish left. No thanks to James. You're trying to hurt me, but I'm just glad not to be a dildo. Okay, so Charlie got one wish, and Ava got the other. By process of elimination, I get the last one. What about me? Sex toys don't get a vote. Me? I thought we weren't doing a person-by-person -person thing. We decided on the last wish together. I agree. Wait! We should use it to figure out who killed Ford. Or to get into his safe. Or to turn my hand back from a fish. No! We should wish for more food throughout the world! Are you kidding? What are you guys thinking? Curing world hunger? Prematurely reaching the end of our season-long arc? We need werewolves! Why? What could that possibly fix? If anything, that would just make things worse. Maybe I just wanted some input in the conversation. Maybe I just wanted to feel validated. What the fuck is going on in here? Why are you guys yelling? Who is this guy in the leather jacket? And why is Charlie's mouth taped shut? You guys, he is a sentient being. You cannot- I wish he was a dildo again! Done! Wait, wait, no! Okay, what the fuck just happened? We need to find another lamp. What? You had so much left to live for. <laughs> if only I could hear your voice one more time. Just hear it one more time so I could say. Ben, they chased me back like an hour ago. What? Whose dildo is this? I don't know. Oh, gross. <laughs> I am full of 
Hey kids! Today's show is brought to you by the letter C for Canada, which I do not recognize as a legitimate state! <laughs>